everyone, are you guys ready for one of my most requested videos ever? Today I'm going to be sharing with you my entire skincare routine. I've been wanting to review this video for a very long time. I have a very old version up on this channel like back when I first started my channel, but I think a lot of these products have changed and I've also added some new ones. I'm so happy you guys wanted to see this though because that tells me you guys are interested in keeping your skin healthy and that's exactly what I try to do with all of these products that I use. So today I'm going to be sharing with you my entire routine from start to finish. We're going to begin in the nighttime because for some reason that's just like what starts this entire routine for me in my head so let's go ahead and get started so the first thing that I want to do is take my makeup off and I do have a little tip here it might be common sense but for me when I realized this like six months ago or so it made a big difference so what I do is if I know I'm not going anywhere for the rest of the night I head straight in the bathroom to take off my makeup I do this because if I do it when I'm still like awake and alive and like I have a lot of energy it really helps me take my time with it and have patience with my routine if I go home lounge around I usually end up watching TV for like crazy amounts of hours and then by the time I get up to go to bed I'm overly tired and I seriously don't want to do all these steps <laughs> so if I do it as soon as I walk through the door I make sure to do all of these steps which I do think are all important is it gonna kill you to take your makeup off with a towelette and that's it every now and then no but I do think a lot of these other products have some great benefits so I do want to use them as much as I can <laughs> with all of that being said the first step that I do when I walk in the bathroom is I start taking my makeup off with a towelette. Now the simple ones are my favorite, you guys know this. I try a lot of different brands, but the cleansing facial wipes are just always the ones I go back to. So I really, really like these because they are soft, but they are also textured. So they're soft enough to not irritate my skin, but they're textured enough to get in there and get my makeup off. So what I do is I just take one of these and I start going around my face to remove my foundation. Then I also use this on my eyes. I am very gentle in this step, but I also don't try to remove every last trace of makeup because I'm going to be cleaning this area next. So what I do is I just like to really set the towelette on my eyes just for a few seconds to loosen things up and then just wipe everything away and I also make sure to get my lash line really really well if I have any eyeliner on or even mascara. For mascara though too I do try to get it off my lashes for the most part and I do this by kind of pinching down on them once I've kind of wiped everything away and I do this and I pause because I've realized if I let that makeup remover soak in a little bit more it makes the mascara a little bit easier to remove. So after all of that is done, I go in with my first cleansing product and this one might seem very, very funny. This is the Johnson's Baby Moisture Wash and yes, I use this to clean my eye area. So I go ahead and wet my face and then while my hands are still wet, I just put a little bit of this in my fingertips, work it around and just start going at my eye area. Now I obviously do this with my eyes closed and I make sure to really focus on my lash line in case I was wearing eyeliner or even just mascara. This really, really helps get all of that off. The reason I use this is because about four or five years ago I had very very frustrating dermatitis around my eye area and I think I've talked about this before but yeah four or five years ago was when it was pretty darn bad so I went to the dermatologist and long story short she recommended this but what the dermatitis was it was just very very dry flaky scaly skin and whenever I touched it or rubbed on it say I was like putting eyeshadow on or anything like that it would get super red and irritated so when I went she actually recommended this product she didn't tell me to use anything else she said go get you some baby shampoo because for whatever reason a product that is in most shampoos just really help with this condition and especially being around your eye area she told me to get the baby version so it didn't bother my eyes so since using that I mean thankfully now that it's been a while it has cleared up a little bit but I do struggle with it from time to time but nothing as bad as like back when I went to the dermatologist thankfully but yeah this product is awesome even if you don't have that kind of irritation around your eyes if you just want something very very gentle that's gonna get your your makeup off this works wonders plus it's super cheap and a bottle lasts you forever <laughs> now it's time to finally clean the face and I have been using a lot of cleansers lately but I do have a couple to mention to you guys the one I went ahead and used in the demo is the one I've really been enjoying lately and a subscriber recommended it to me so thank you so much this is the Neutrogena ultra gentle daily cleanser and this is the foaming formula I just take one pump of this and I do start massaging it around my face to start the suds a little bit this formulation is a little bit thick so if I don't do this I feel feel like it's more work for my Clarisonic. So obviously, yes, after that I go in with my Clarisonic and I have been a Clarisonic fan for years. I really just love the Clarisonic for peace of mind because for me, I do think it gets my skin way cleaner and it's just so easy to use. So I do have the Mia 2, I believe, and I feel like with this cleanser, it works really, really well. For me, I haven't used a foaming cleanser in forever because they are a little bit drying than some of the creamier formulations. With this though, especially during this time of year, I don't think I could 
could get away with this in the winter because I need as much moisture as I can get but for right now where my skin's dry but kind of normal this is awesome and it isn't overly drying so after all the cleansing is done I just dry my skin and I do go in with something a little bit more moisturizing so I have a couple products that I usually use during this step but the one that I have been hands down loving guys is this oil right here this is the oil essentials soothe version in the lavender and rose hip scent and I recently saw these pop up in my local Meyer. I had no idea what they were. They came in all these colorful, cute little boxes and they really caught my eye. My mom ended up getting this for me for Easter, I think, and I just absolutely love it, guys. I just take about four or five drops on my fingertips and I just gently pat this into my skin. This moisturizes so well, but it doesn't feel heavy or oily on the skin. I don't know how they did it, but for me, I've never used a dry oil, but for some reason, those are the words that come to mind when I'm using this. I think it's because it just soaks in so well and it doesn't leave me extra shiny. I just love it. So this has been a great, great moisturizing thing that is very lightweight after I'm done cleansing. I do also like moisturizers though. And the one that I've been loving lately, which you guys have probably seen, is this Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream. I think I got this in either Birchbox or Ipsy a couple months ago. This has a thinner texture, but guys, it packs so much hydration. Like I can't even believe it. It's so lightweight on the skin. It absorbs really, really nicely and it doesn't have a scent either. So for me, I just really like very simple products and this totally does it for me. But also I have to mention the Benefit Total Moisture Facial Cream too. I really enjoyed that one. That one is even a little bit more heavy duty than even the oil in this Kiehl's one. But I do like saving that one for the winter time. But for right now and then these spring and summer months, these two are going to be my go-tos. After I do that, I just go about my night for at least 20 minutes. I'll typically just go do my thing, make dinner, watch TV, whatever. It can totally be longer than those 20 minutes but 20 minutes is my little window because I have to go and apply my Retin-A next. This is just the generic brand of the Tretinoin cream and if you're curious I do use the 0.025% formulation. There are ones that are stronger but just because my skin is so dry this one is the perfect balance. I just take a very very small pea sized amount. I dot it on my cheeks and also my chin and I just blend it in. I really do try to focus this on the places I have the most hyperpigmentation and I will say that because I've been using this so long I have had great results. I do I do want to quickly mention a blog post though because if you guys aren't familiar with like my skin history and stuff I did a blog post a long time ago with even photos of like my skin throughout the process so I would say after my high school years when I got into college my skin started acting up and I started my dermatologist journey and I ultimately ended up with this retin-a and then also one medication I'll talk about when we get to my daytime routine but yeah I'll link it down below for you guys if you're interested but I think it's really interesting because I get comments on my skin a lot in these videos and trust me it has not always been this clear after that I just go in with my eye cream and I have been loving this one from origins lately this is their eye doctor eye cream and I got this because I actually went into Sephora about two weeks ago and asked the lady for some recommendations I was trying to use the Kiehl's avocado one I swear guys I tried my hardest to just stick with that and use it up but I didn't even get through half of it because I cannot get over that texture I think I mentioned it in one of my hits and misses videos but it's so tacky and it doesn't blend well under my eyes so when she pointed out this Origins line, she actually recommended the ginseng one because, I don't know, she was telling me you could like kind of use it as a spot treatment too. I was a little confused, but as soon as I saw this one and the texture of it, I fell in love. It's definitely on the thicker, creamier side, which I love, but it's nothing too heavy that it makes it like hard to blend out, kind of like the Kiehl's one. This one just goes under the eyes so, so well. It absorbs really, really quickly and it packs a ton of moisture. In rounding out my nightly routine, I just apply my Latisse and I have been doing this for about the past two months. I think I mentioned that I was using it on Instagram but also in a video too but I will be doing a review once my three months is up that is how long they say it takes to get through one of those little bottles so for this I just drip one tiny little drop into the lid of the bottle and I go in with the Sigma eyeliner brush so I just dip that in the lid I get it nice and wet and then I just literally draw it across my eye area but I've also been using this on my eyebrows and between you and me that's like the place that I've loved it the most I had this little indentation where like the hair wasn't growing and guys in like a month it filled that in so that was awesome so that wraps up my nightly routine we will get to my daily one in just a second but I do have two products I want to mention to you guys that I use occasionally but I didn't need when I filmed this video so if I want to do a mask or something like that I do have quite a few options but the one I've really been liking lately is this one from Burt's Bees this is the intense hydration treatment mask with clay sage and I just picked this up on a whim at my local Meyer. I had no idea what to expect with this though I've liked it because it's very very thick and hydrating and you're really not supposed to 
rinse this off. On the back it says to just tissue it off and then massage whatever's left over back into your skin. And I do feel that when I use this, that's a little bit hard because it is so thick to like actually use a tissue to get it off. But I do like it because my skin feels hydrated afterwards and I feel like when I use this before bed, the hydration really sticks with me. And the other little thing that is very, very handy is this spot treatment right here. This is the Clean and Clear Advantage Acne Spot Treatment. And I recently picked this up, but guys, when I did and I started using it, I noticed a world of a difference in my blemishes. I don't know if it works wonders every single time because I even have my boyfriend use this and he's like, eh, it's okay. But yeah, I just like having one of these on hand just for those little emergency situations. Finally though, getting into my day routine, I did want to mention that I did not film this part for you guys because literally it's like two steps and it's super, super easy. So the first thing that I do when I wake up is I cleanse my skin because I applied that Retin-A the night before. For this step, I've really enjoyed using my CeraVe Hydrating Cleanser and this is a cleanser I have talked about so much on this channel, but I recently mentioned that I think I'm going to start straying away from it a little bit. Granted, I love it for this step because for whatever reason, I like the creaminess of it over that foaming stuff. I don't really think I need all of that cleansing power in the morning when I'm just rinsing off my Retin-A. I have mentioned that I am straying away from this a little bit, especially in the winter because this can be a little bit irritating to my super dry areas, but for right now when my skin is a little bit more normal, this has been great. I just use this with my hands in the morning, no Clarisonic, and then after that I just go in with my daily moisturizer, which is from CeraVe as well. This is the AM Facial Moisturizing Lotion, and I have used this for a really long time too. If you guys remember, I was using this before it had broad spectrum protection, and by the way, this does have SPF 30, which I love, but then they reformulated it, I went back to it because now it does have broad spectrum protection, and I must say I don't like it as much as the original formula. Right before I found this new formulation, I was using the Aveeno Positively Radiant one, the one with SPF 30, and I loved that one. So after trying this, I think after I use this all up, I am going to go back to that Aveeno one because this definitely has more of a sunscreen feel now. It still does a good job. I mean, like I said, I'm going to use it up. It goes across the skin really well and moisturizes really well. And I think the protection is great too, but I don't know for me. And I'm like, when I'm massaging this around my skin, it just feels and smells a little bit more sticky and a little bit more like sunscreen. And then the last thing that I do in the morning is I just take my acne medication, which is spironolactone. I take two 25 milligram tablets a day. I just take them both in the morning and that's literally it. That is what keeps my acne at bay. But that is everything guys. I really hope you enjoyed my updated skincare routine. This video has been a long time coming and I'm so sorry it took me so long to get to it. But if you enjoyed it or found it helpful, please make sure to give this a huge thumbs up. If you guys have any questions about what I do or even the products I use, please do not hesitate to ask because I know skincare can be a very confusing thing. I myself even feel like I'm watching some of these other YouTubers skincare routines and they're using so many products. I'm like, oh my gosh, do I really need all of those? Also, let me know any product recommendations you think I should try if it's something you're loving that you really think I would like. Of course, I want to know about it because I want to try it too. But other than that, I hope you guys are having a great, great day as always. Thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.